three, two, and one. Good day, class, and welcome to our science class for today. No, congratulations that we are now in week five. No, few weeks na lang matatapos na ang ating school year. And I would just want to congratulate each one of you sa pagtatiyaga, sa pagpupursige, sa inyong pag-aaral. Now, in Module 5, as you can see on the screen, that we are in, we will study about the biodiversity. No? At the end of the lesson, we need to explain the advantage of high biodiversity in maintaining the stability of an ecosystem. That is the most learning uh, competencies. And we will describe also the transfer of energy through tropic to the tropic levels. So in this lesson, we have we have part one and part two parts, no? Ang ating pag-aaral. So wag na natin patagalin pa. What are the other targets that we need to attain in this lesson? Next, we will distinguish between high or low biodiversity. Number two, we will give examples, no, of ecosystem with low biodiversity. Number three, explain the importance of biodiversity to a ecosystem. And last, we'll be able to construct a food pyramid and interpret how energy transfer takes place through the tropic level. So, are you ready for now? Here a game, no? You need to do is to decode the number that is given below the guide, no? Para for you to understand or to get the correct term na kailangan natin for this lesson. So, ipapa, you need, all you need to do is to follow the numbers with the corresponding letters above it. Okay. I will give you 5 seconds to answer. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Very good. The correct answer since number 5, letter E, number 3, letter C, 15, uh, that is O. The correct answer is ecosystem. You got it right. Very good. So, when we say ecosystem, this is community of organism and its environment. A certain community, tapos mayroong organism doon. That is what we call ecosystem. Like a farm. Diba? Pag nakita kayo sa farm, of course, mayroong mga different kinds of far, uh, plants and mayroong ayot. That is an example of ecosystem. How about Starts with the number 19 and it ends in the number 19 also. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. The correct answer is species. Is it species? So when we say species, pinag natin before, these are the class of individuals with common characteristics. Like for example, uh, the dog, no? We have different characteristics of dogs. That is an example of species. Okay. Last word for this game. Five. Comment your answer. Wag kalimutan. Four. Three. Two. And one. Starts with the number seven. Letter G on. The correct answer is genetic. When we say genetic, it is what makes up an organism or the DNA community of organism and its and okay okay stop okay we have levels of biodiversity actually there are three levels of biodiversity first is the ecosystem diversity second species diversity and last is the genetic diversity sir paano sila nagkakaiba-iba first ecosystem diversity it consists of the large number no of all different and all different kinds of organism that living in its environment so that is what we call ecosystem diversity pag species diversity naman consists of the large number and different kinds no shape colors and size of organism that inhabit on the earth so, pag sinabi naman genetic diversity, if we will base the picture or the image below, different genetic information that organism contain. Okay? So, as we move on, let's answer the following. So, if you really understand yung previous nating pinag-usapan. Bio means, we have four letters. Comment your answer. Five, 
four, three, two, and one. Very good. Bio means life. Number two, variety is another term for? Okay, naalala? Kakasabi ko lang kanina. Variety is another for term for diversity. Very good. So, blank is the variety of life on our earth and interdependence of all living things. That is what we call biodiversity. So, how many levels are there in biodiversity? We have three. Very good. So, what levels of diversity is shown in the picture? Yan, a group of dogs. Puro dogs lang. So, that is what we call genetic diversity. Very good. Okay, class, for this activity, all you need to do is to use your senses by observing the two images. What can you say on the number one picture? How about in number two? Okay. In that image, Okay, now, let's proceed to the part 1, no? Kanina, ano lang natin yun? Overview ng lesson. We will study about the low and high biodiversity. So, as you can see in the picture, when we say high biodiversity, this is the areas with the higher number of organisms found and considered sa the high biodiversity. Pag maraming biodiversity, aba, pag maraming organism in a certain place, so, it's a certain ecosystem that is what we call the high biodiversity. Examples are placed in the tropic region like, and as you can see, uh, sa ilalim ng karagatan, same thing dito sa pinapakita sa first picture naman, yung falls with different kinds of plants and animals or insects, I think. So, that is what we okay. When we say high biodiversity, yeah, it has a greatest number of organisms living in it. Ibig sabihin, katulad yung sinabi ko nina, there are different um, organisms na naninirahan in a certain ecosystem, no? And also, it provides, no? Uh, shelter, water, and food to many species. Ang kagandahan dito, it can sustain the life because it provides the needs of the organism and result to a stable ecosystem with lesser rate of species loss. That is for the high biodiversity. But how will you describe an ecosystem with low biodiversity? Paano naman ang low biodiversity? Low biodiversity, these are the areas with lesser number of organisms found. It's considered to have, to have low biodiversity. Examples are the temperate region like, you know, as you can see, there are trees and the same uh, species, or same organism, same kind of plant. Another example of low biodiversity sa another example, ito po sa ice, which you can see a penguin alone in the ice habitat and uh, habitat. And as you can see, it looks like a desert with the same species of plants. No? So let's have another activity. I will show the Sure, and you will tell me the organisms that are living in it, or and after that you will uh, simply comment, no, if it is low or high biodiversity. Picture number one. What are the organisms there? There are plants, of course, the different trees, no, and there are lion, tiger, and flowers. As you can see, so comment your answer if it is belong to low or low or high biodiversity. Five, four, three, two, and one. Of course, that is high biodiversity. How about the second picture? The ice community. All you can see is trees. Meron naman yung ano no organisms. Pero hindi natin makita ba? Maybe may penguin yan. So that is high or low. The correct answer is low biodiversity. How about last picture? But then the schools of fishes, may corals, may seaweeds. This is considered as, of course, high biodiversity. Okay. This is very, it is also important for us, no, as early as young, on how to protect, no, the biodiversity. So, in protecting biodiversity, uh, there are causes of species decline. It's through the acronym HIPPO 
or the hippo. So, these are the causes ng mga dahilan para hindi sila uh, makamamuhay no? ng maayos because of the HIPPO. First is the habitat destruction, I, invasion of introduced species, P e is population increase, P, e pollution, and the over collection over harvesting of resources. These are the five reasons bakit napipigilan no? mamuhay ng maayos ang mga organisms because of the tree. Let see one by one. So, habitat destruction based on the picture ng no? kitang kita na because of the destruction of the ecosystem of the organisms ay pipigilan silang dumami at mamuhay ng maayos. Yung ay, ano sabi na ay invasion introduced species dahil ang mga tao no they are very willing no to have a research to invade no to to know more about different kinds of species kaya merong invasion of habitat natures the population increase as you know is the official 2010 census tally over over a year no tumaas na pataas ang population and it will greatly affect no? and as you can see the, the total total population of Philippines in 2015 no hindi pa to updated uh, nasa 2021 na tayo is 100.7 million mas mala, mas mataas tayo ngayon of course annual world population change ay as you can see no dito sa a predictions ng table 2020 pinakamataas na year is 1990 and over the year 2050 pababa ng pababa yung population another is pollution of course and we have different types of pollution water pollution air pollution land pollution that will greatly affect existence of species and last yung over collections and over harvesting of resources so, it will greatly affect dahil ano, pag lahat uh, nag harvest ng species no? sobrang dami wala lang natira sa dagat paano pa sila magmultiply same thing with the trees pag lahat ng puno naputol na 